The U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan is bringing up a lot of memories for those who served there and those who lost loved ones in that conflict. Army veteran Scott DeLucio shares the story of his brother's death in his new book, Surviving Son. Scott joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you. I, I want to get right to this. You know, you're serving in Afghanistan in 2010 at the same time as your brother Stephen, and you learn he was killed fighting the Taliban moments before you went into a battle with the Taliban yourself. That's correct. Yeah, and it was a uh, you know a terrible situation. Uh, we both were were uh, deployed over there at the same time, and and when we were uh, when we were over there, it 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 was just. Uh, you know the worst possible day you can imagine you know having the uh the news of my brother's loss and then having uh being in a firefight myself it was just such a a, a terrible situation uh to, to be in but um, we kind of had to make do with what we had just a lot all at once you know in the book you talk about some of your struggles with understandable grief and also adjusting back to civilian life and and it led you to a new mission helping other veterans who are dealing with similar struggles yeah that's right and so in the book surviving son i i, I talk about my struggles and and the things the mistakes that i've made and, and the things that i've done throughout my uh my journey coming back home after uh, losing my brother and, and serving in combat. And I hope that other veterans will learn from my mistakes and, and find the healthy ways to deal with the PTSD and stresses of combat and grief and loss and all of those types of things. Uh, but on the other hand, I also feel that civilians have a lot to learn from from this as well. And they, I hope they, they can take away some uh, some of the sacrifices that, that we make and, and, and how it affects our families and, and our communities as well. And, and, and that's a lot of what I talk about on my podcast, the Drive On podcast, where we, we talk to other veterans and other, other people like that, and we, we try to get the message out there and, and give hope to uh, the, the people who are, are, are struggling. Are you finding that the end of the U.S. mission in Afghanistan and the way it ended are renewing some of these feelings for veterans, maybe even years after they returned home? Yeah, you know, the, it's it's a hard thing, and I, I you know I really do wish that the the withdrawal from Afghanistan went a little bit better. Um, but a, a lot of times, people are saying you know that there were the lives were lost all for nothing, including my brother's life, and that it, it was just a wasted effort and things like that. But I, I like to look at it as, in a more positive way, and, and I, I look at there was a lot of good that was done by by taking the fight to the enemy and and preventing another 9/11 style attack here in in America. Um, but we also saved countless, think about the amount of uh, American lives that we've saved uh, by not having another uh, terrorist attack uh, in, in our country. But we also saved the Afghan lives, too, of the people who would have been living under the Taliban rule for the last 20 years. Um, but we also did things like providing schools and, and uh, infrastructure projects that they, they probably never would have had. So, you know, but I look at the positive side of things. And, and say that, you know, we did do some good over there and, and that these lives, including my brothers, were, were not lost uh, for, in vain. What can all of us do to help veterans who, who may be struggling with this specific situation or just in general? Yeah, I, I think one of the, the biggest things is there's, there's a disconnect between what veterans uh, are, are dealing with and, and what the civilians perceive them to be dealing with. And I really encourage uh, the, the listeners and the, the viewers out there to uh, learn what veterans deal with. And in my book, Surviving Son, uh, talks a lot about what what veterans are dealing with. And my podcast also talks about these things. We talk about other other veterans' struggles and what they've gone through and what they've, more importantly, what they've done to uh, make a better life for themselves. And, and uh, they learn about all of the issues that that we face. And so I think once when there's that better understanding, we can, we can come together and come with a better solution to some of the problems that these veterans are facing. Surviving Son is available now. Scott DeLucio, thank you so much for your time and your service. Thank you very much.